So today's video is going to be uh, five reasons why I love being a software engineer, right? So I'm going to be sharing with you five reasons why I love my job, five reasons why I'm excited about being a software engineer. So stick around and I'll be right back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be doing another video after what seemed like a while because I've been a little bit busy, so I've not had time to make another video. But right now, I'm making another one to make up for the lost times. So, the idea was for me to um, put out one video at least every month so i feel like i'm on track with that anyway so just before i go on to the kind the video that i want to bring to you all i just want to say a very big welcome to the new subscribers so recently i got around 217 subscribers on this channel and i'm very very excited about that it just shows that people are actually enjoying the content I put out there and I'm really excited about it. So welcome if you're a new subscriber and while you're here, you can also check out my previous videos and also like and comment on them because I really love seeing people like and comment on my videos. Anyway, so I'm going to be moving on to today's video and before I go on I just want to say that I put in so much work into this and I really appreciate it if you watch to the end so today's video is going to be me sharing five reasons why I love being a software engineer I know this is like this is a very a very engaging topic and i've seen other developers do this on youtube so i decided to do more to, to share with you all why i love being a software engineer and i hope you stick around till the end of the video and the first one number one is because you always get your opportunity to learn new things you're always learning so one thing i really love about my job or about being a software engineer is because i I'm always learning a new thing, right? I'm always learning. There is no single day that I don't get to find something interesting online or find out how to do a, a better way of implementing a new thing. So the way the career, the way our career is built is we have to always be up to date with the current technologies we're using. For example, I'm a JavaScript developer and because the, the way the JavaScript ecosystem is built, there are always new things for you to learn. There is either a new version of React or a, a new technology or a new framework is released and I get to experience how to work with these technologies on a daily basis. So it is pretty exciting. And something I am really, I'm really passionate about is sharing my knowledge. So I also just do this. If I find something interesting and something I'm really passionate about learning, I just tend to blog about it, right? I tend to write articles surrounding that topic because at the end of the day, for me to be able to write an article, I have to learn that technology. So this is me killing one bed with two stones if you get what I mean. But anyway, what I'm just trying to say is, as a developer in your career, you don't just um, remain in one position for the rest of your career. Starting off as a newbie, you might just have basic knowledge of HTML and CSS, but going on for you to be where you want to be in five years, like the HR people will actually where you want to be in five years, right? For you to visualize yourself in that place, you need to keep on learning. You need to always be learning. So as a developer, one thing I really love about my job is the fact that I get the opportunity to learn new things, uh, 
level up the new things every day and it is pretty exciting. Yeah, so moving on. Um, so the second reason why I love being a software engineer is because it's flexible, right? Because of flexibility. So one thing I'm really happy about my job that is not really common with other jobs that I know of is the fact that I can work remotely. And so many companies, so many tech companies are embracing the remote work lifestyle and I'm happy my company also does this. So I have the opportunity to work from home on some specific days of the week, not every day. But it really gives you a different perspective to how you do your work. So imagine you, instead of commuting, because where I'm based in, there is a hell of traffic just to go to to work every morning. You can sit in traffic for about two hours to one hour. This is you wasting productive time that I can use to work. So I feel like having this remote um, culture in a company will definitely increase um, developer productivity because the amount of time you spend in traffic, you can use that to give the future. I'm just joking, but yeah. So I really love that about my job, the fact that I get the opportunity to work remotely and also the fact that I get to work with diverse teams. So also I'm really excited that since I started my tech um, journey, I've had the opportunity to work with people from different cultures. This has allowed me to understand how other people think, how people from other countries and um, other cultures think and how they do their job or how they um, communicate. Communication is key, right? So I've been able to learn how other people communicate, empathy and a whole lot of other things. So this is something I'm really excited about my job, the fact that it is very flexible. So number three, three is innovation. So as a software engineer, you have the ability to create ideas and actually make them work right. I'm going to be merging in innovation with creativity, right? You can be as creative as you want to be. You can just think of, of an idea and have that working in a couple of weeks, months, or years. And that is really exciting. It makes you um, have this Elon Musk feeling. Yeah. So what I'm really excited about innovation is the fact that as software engineers we have the ability to think up a crazy idea or something really useful. So an example can be you thinking of an idea that would help um, fishermen or people from the rural areas, farmers, fishermen, sell their produce to people in the urban areas without them traveling all the way to the city to sell these things or you um, creating an application that will help produce um, traffic in Lagos. So things like this just makes you feel like um, a superhuman or it makes you feel as if you have superpowers and that is something I'm really excited about that I have the opportunity to do these things. Right, so the first reason why I love being a software engineer is because of my profession is in high demand. Right, so as software engineers, there are a lot of jobs available for you out there. Currently speaking, in the US, there are a lot more jobs than there are applicants to fill these jobs. So what this means is, once you know your onions, once you know how to do your job, once you're good at what you're doing, definitely it would be it's easier for you to get the job. Now, don't get me wrong, this is different for everybody. So. Yeah, so moving on, the fifth reason why I love being a software engineer is because of um, it has a great community. So ever since I started uh, my career as a developer, I was lucky enough to be Part of a community starting off when I, I remember when I was learning JavaScript, uh, I joined a community called 100 Days of Code. And so far, I would say for anybody that is willing to start out their journey in development or in engineering, one key thing that you might find helpful for you is being part of a community. 
starting out you might not know how things are being done but once you have like a community that is ready to see you grow that they are happy to help you out when your stock is going to enhance your career so for me when i started out i was part of a community called the hundred years of code so basically it's you dedicating one hour every day for a span of 100 days for you to code regardless of your level so people that do this some people uh expect beginners or intermediates in their career but yet they decide to join this community and do this so at the time i did this two years ago and from the time i started it to the end of my hundred days i was part of this community and i felt welcome because this is where it works right at the end of the day you post your progress on twitter and then you get um comments from people that are also doing this challenge and all right so that concludes my top five reasons for why i love working as a software engineer i hope you found this video helpful and also i hope you are able to learn a thing or two from some of my reasons let me know if you're a software engineer, let me know some of the reasons why you love working as a developer or a software engineer in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And see you in my next video.